So, I don't know what happened, but for some odd reason, yeah, no problem. But yeah, for some odd reason, and I don't know why, but basically, when I was literally going through that full-on um, video, I realized this man was capping hard, and I can tell this man was capping hard. Ebro was literally trying his best to literally not, literally not crack, because one thing for sure, if you literally go straight into that video, this man has given the deadest eyes in the biggest poker face you could ever give in the history of any p of content creation, and it's hilarious. And then the funny thing is, a lot of people literally um, got through and followed that up, so I want to actually debunk it a little bit. So he literally says, Taylor Swift needs Ice Spice. No, the fuck she doesn't. In case you haven't noticed, Taylor Swift already has been doing a lot more better throughout the last year, and she already has 100 million views on one of her best songs that just came out, like, what, seven months ago? Why is it all of a sudden that she needs... Ice Spice to keep her relevancy up when it's not even that the fucking case. Like, come on. That's the dumbest shit you could ever say. That's one. Two, you literally said that Taylor Swift was getting old. How the fuck is she getting old? The person you mentioned that you decided to literally, like, swipe away from the rug, Nikki, is literally 40 years old. Taylor Swift is only 33. She's not that old, G. And she... And she's definitely not that old. If you're going to say that she's old, you can say the same thing for Nikki. But you literally like to swipe that shit aside. But I might be wrong because, again, I don't know what happened. So, unless she literally decided to think it was a good idea to set something up like that and then immediately go for the fucking finish, you're out of your fucking mind. I just don't get that. So, I'm just, I'm just not understanding where your common sense of that is. I might be wrong. So, again, like I said, I might be wrong about that. Let's just move on. Now, you can't see into the future. Motherfucker, you literally just decided to think that it was a good idea to bring up the fact that, oh, yeah, in the near future, she's getting older, so it's not going to be really worth mentioning, which is fair, because I can understand that point, which I'll definitely debunk. The issue is, is that people can't, see into the future, but they can predict what's bound to happen. It's not too fucking often you can actually do that. And a lot of people do that. So, again, that part is kind of miscued. Now, another thing is that she doesn't need Taylor Swift. She can do this on her own. That's very true, but that is not the reason why the fuck that I Spice and Taylor Swift did that video. That's not the explanation. It's not the fact that I Spice needed um, Taylor Swift is not the fact that Taylor Swift needed Ice Spice. Taylor literally wanted to work with her because, again, it's like you guys fail to realize some people want to work with others because they like their music. It's like we're so fucking downgraded into the reality of this. It's like, how are you so hellbent on this? And then here's the other thing that actually is because. So I fucked up the recording on this one because I forgot that I said a lot of misinfo on the stream about Nikki. I want to actually make it very, very clear that I did mess this up, so I'm going to restate it here. Um, Nikki took, well, one, she retired initially, but she literally came back almost damn near three years later to do um, music again, and it was pretty obvious that it was kind of hard for her to, like, move away from music, so I had no problem with her, like, basically, like, pushing back that's not my issue my issue is that it's funny to me how somebody like Ebro is literally sitting here saying that oh she she's trying to act cool and shit when in reality Taylor just loves her music and she wanted to collaborate with her it doesn't really matter where with Nikki she's always given love to fucking Ice Spice for a long time so at or at least quite some time to be specific and it's weird to me how in the world that somehow someone in her 40s is literally doing this, but Ebro didn't comment on it. But when Taylor does it, it's calling her old right off the bat. Again, your mindset is not making sense, dude. Just shut the fuck up and let this shit go. Because it's very clear you're just trying to please the masses and trying to make up some dumb shit. And for those of you who actually listen to Ebro, my word of advice to you, do your own research and have 
your own independent mind instead of listening to a dumb motherfucker like him? Because it would be very clear that, again, he was obviously being a little disingenuous about the fact of what actually happened between Ice Spice and Taylor Swift. And then the fact that he tried to bring in Nikki into the same fucking boat, it just made no sense. Like, I digress, man. But, yeah, that's what I'm going to have to do for the rest of this video. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a wonderful day.